Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I don't know what you're thinking. Glasses? Yeah, glasses. But most importantly, new haircut. Guys, we're going to be talking about the division in its new patch notes. It just hit 1.02. And pretty much, uh, uh, um, these are what's going to be implemented on March 22nd. Today's date is March 21st, which means these updates do not hit until tomorrow. And pretty much, which is... They're fixing the, what's dubbed Loot Cave uh, bug, which is named enemies will no longer be, uh, will now drop better loot in challenge game, challenge mode than in hard mode. Added a cooldown period for static turret stun attack in order to avoid a stun lock in PVP and PVE, which is great. I.e. if you've got a uh, team of four of you guys, you've gone rogue, and three of you guys have stun turrets, you can no longer constantly keep stun locking the bosses or stun locking uh, players, which is actually a good thing. Named NPCs will no longer respawn after being killed in the open world. This will prevent situations where players were able to kill the same NPC over and over and over again, i.e. this is the Madison Squared bug. Basically, there's the Madison Square safe house. You, As you're leaving the safe house, you take a right, then another right, then a left, you'll see a yellow garbage truck, uh, 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 and then there's the named uh, NPC and his bodyguards, I believe his name is Bullet King, and pretty much what they would do is kill Bullet King, loot his corpse, and then die to his bodyguards. Once he respawns, you leave the safe house, he's respawned, you kill him, rinse and repeat. So this bug will be implemented tomorrow. So guys, if you're seeing this video before the 22nd of March, 2016, farm the fuck out of him. Otherwise, you're not going to get to. Um, it can now only be, uh, um, and it's another one, uh, modifications to weapons to the weapons talent trained. It can now only be rolled on shotguns, marksman's rifles, and pistols. It is Its bonus has been reduced from 1 to 5% to a constant 0.1%, which is an absolute fucking joke. Uh, for the Midas SMG, the only named, well, one of the, this, there are certain named weapons within the division that you can only get through drops. There's only like two or three of them that can be crafted. The rest can be either purchased or, or are loot drop only, the Midas being one of them. Uh, uh, the Midas, uh, 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 for the Midas SMG, trained talent has been replaced with responsive talent, which increases damage when getting closer to the target. This applies to existing weapons as well as newly acquired ones, which means bugger because one of my SMGs actually did have that talent on it, which means, and it even has the um, responsive talent on it, so let's see if the responsive talent stacks. Uh, for all SMG, LMGs and assault rifles, it will be replaced with another randomly picked weapon talent. This applies to existing weapons as well as newly acquired ones. Uh, fix the speedrun exploit on the rooftop com relay mission. Thank you. It's about time you fix that. Uh, I actually sent in several tickets about that. Uh, fix an issue where weapons dealt no damage if the reload animation was interrupted by an agent's skill. Thank you. Or worse, your agent just doesn't fire his weapon or use any other skills. He's literally in an animation lock. So you literally have to run away. Uh, fix an issue... Uh, uh, where players become stuck in an emote animation if activated via uh, via chat while order running. Uh, I personally think that you should just disable the ability to use the emotes and have them set to uh, 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 key bindings, i.e. F5 through F12. Fix the bug where experience was not being awarded for completing all side missions in the Midtown East safe house. Well, this doesn't help because I'm past the Midtown East safe house, so I'm already level 30. Uh, fixed instance where seeker mine with airburst and slash multi mine mod would detonate too soon missing the target and causing the damage This will actually make Grim incredibly happy Grim loves his little seeker mine. It's one of his favorite little gadgets that he likes to use uh, Fixed a bug where grenades would sometimes not display a blast radius warning before detonating This is actually pretty good because on the challenging difficulty on the police precinct the very last boss She has a grenade launcher that uh, yeah, uh, during last night's run with me, Warhammer, and a whole bunch of guys, we got no warnings. All of a sudden, two of our guys are dead. One of our guys is, you know, on his knees bleeding out, and I had to run along as my medic, get War up, and then get the other two guys up because we weren't getting a, a, um, 
It last rate this warning about the grenades. Uh, fix an issue where some NPCs in low cover would not react to being shot by the player. That's going to kind of suck because uh, the grenadiers and uh, let's see, the grenadiers with the one with the biker helmets, the round biker helmets, the rikers. And there's one other guy, I want to say it's the uh, uh, grenade tossers from the cleaners. Uh, um, they like to do a little glitch. They, they have like this weird animation glitch where once they've thrown a certain amount of grenades, they will run to the nearest cover and hide as if they're being suppressed. Well, let's see if that causes a bug there. Uh, fix an issue where emotes would cause the player's model to behave oddly, missing guns, players stuck in the emote, animation, etc. etc. Uh, fix the bug where weapons mods and weapon skins would not show up to other players in the game world. This is actually a, a bug that's been hitting me lately. Uh, also, um, if a player has uh, um, a sniper rifle as his secondary, for example, uh, Zeke uh, has a, uh, an EBT, uh, EBR M14 and an AR and all of a sudden he'll switch to his M14 and or switch to his AR and he's still got his M14 out and he's rapidly firing his M14 and I'm like Jesus bloody crap and I mean he's like no I've got my AR and I'm like not to me you got your M14 so looks like they've fixed that fixed an issue where DPS would not be calculated properly when purchasing a new weapons mod this is something I'm actually glad about because as you guys know or not know in this case I am currently working on doing a video guide series on uh, breaking certain boundaries within the division legally without using mods or hacks, i.e. break 60k damage, 70k damage, 80k damage, 90k damage. Right now I believe I'm up to trying to break 200k damage with uh, an AR and that's about 220, 225 on an SMG. SMGs will always have a higher DPS than any other weapon in the game. Uh, simply because of their fire rates. They, they passively have the highest fire rates and they all passively have uh, a critical hit chance increase by about 18 to 25 percent. I've seen them go as high as tw uh, uh, 29 percent but that was uh, a crafted one that I did uh, but it had really shitty talent so I just decomped it, didn't realize it until it was too late. Uh, dark zone. Players can now heal other neutral players in the dark zone by using first aid and support station skills. This can be good and this can be bad. Let me explain why this can be good. This can be good if you want to try and make friends, i.e. you're in a firefight, neutral guy runs up, he starts shooting at some of the mobs, and he's not trying to steal them, but he thinks, oh wait, this guy needs some help. He gets hurt, you throw out med kit, you heal him. Bad side. You're there with your friends, shooting some mobs, another group comes up, they want to be arse hats. they see you through down some healing stations, they kill you, you know, they, don't, they go rogue, they in-cap you all, and then start healing off of your healing stations. So the damage that you have done in defense of them going rogue is now nullified. So, <laughs> golf clap there. Uh, players are now able to fast travel to the dark zone checkpoints, but only when coming from outside the dark zone. So basically, if you're on in the PvE world, you can go, oh, I want to go to this dark zone. So basically, you can now dark zone hop every 24 hours once the uh, merchants refresh their stock. Uh, dark zone disconnect timer has been increased to 30 seconds, meaning players will remain in game world longer when logging out while in the dark zone. This applies while not in combat. Um, this can be a good thing, this can be a bad thing. Again, good thing if you have really shitty internet, looking at you Grim, if you've got really shitty internet. Um, and a bad thing, i.e. if you are lag switching, you dirty fucking scrub lords. Um, i.e. you've got a little toggle switch on the data line on your LAN cord and you see someone coming at you, you flip the switch to your network, you've disconnected the LAN, the, 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 the LAN, card, LAN cord from your PC and you're running around the map and you flick it back on after 5 to 10 seconds, you're now behind the opponent, bap 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 bap, he's dead. Um, good and bad because you've now got a 30 second leeway. Uh, dark, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, items extracted from the dark zone now properly mark as new items when moved to the player's inventory. Well, that should be under the UI updates, not dark zone, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, players killed in the dark zone now drop ammo, medkits, and grenades. This loot is generated and is not taken from the dying player's inventory. Thank fucking god. Uh, again, that just is going to encourage more players to kill other players, i.e. players who already have yellow gear, out the wazoo, multiple sockets, multiple stats, you name it. 
uh, because now they realize, oh, I used three med kits while trying to kill you. Oh, look, you've dropped two med kits. Down now I'm only down one med kit. GG. Um, players killed in the dark zone will lose less dark zone funds and experience, rogue and non rogue. <coughs> this is a bloody good thing because this means that you can start forgiving certain ass hats who are uh, uh, farming the entrance into the dark zone because you'll get rogue team, rogue skill level three, four, and five guys literally camping by the bloody door. So the moment you open the bloody door to get out, they're gonna gank you and steal your shit. And there's nothing you can do, even if you now use a fast teleport to a different door, which is technically a good bloody thing. Um, what else? Uh, dark zone and experience rewards for surviving rogue status have been improved. Finally, um, another thing they need to that they need to do is to toggle rogue on or off. I.e., before you go into the dark zone, you can choose to toggle it on, and you start off as a rogue right away. And it doesn't disappear until either you die and you go back to the the, the, the zone, and you can toggle it off, or you know the 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 price on the bounty on your head is cashed in, and it automatically toggles it off. And if and basically what that means is if you choose not to go rogue, you cannot kill other players and you cannot kill, uh, 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 um, you know, you, you just can't kill other players unless they're rogues, of course, in which case you can defend yourself. So going, but going rogue, I would say would give you a passive to drops and uh, uh, ex, uh, to, to drops Dark Zone EXP and credits. Uh, Dark Zone funds and experience rewards for killing rogue agents has been improved. This doesn't help me. I've killed a couple of dark, uh, I've killed a couple of rogue guys. Um, basically, I was in the dark zone by myself. Big mistake. And I watched. Uh, I, I, I was you know I, I was attacking a boss by myself. Another second big mistake. And then a squad of guys came out of nowhere. They were friendly. They helped me kill the boss. You know we all got our loot. One and, and they they were, I knew they were in a squad because they were talking to each other. They all buggered off to the uh, extraction zone. I went with them, but I stayed behind, just outside the extraction zone, and I watched another squad of rogue guys come in. I yelled through, you know, voice chat, and you know, rogue guys, rogue guys, but it was too late. These rogue guys had killed them, stole their loot, and went to a different extraction zone. I waited for them to get all around the rope. I tossed the freaking flashbang out there, and I just wasted them all with my SMG, stole all their shit, and then used their own helicopter to extract their own stuff. That's called revenge. Uh, so, and I, 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 it did level me from like level 29, I was about this much to get into level 30, and it bumped me to level 30. So now that they've actually improved the uh, EXP for killing rogues, well, who knows? A uh, Phoenix credit drop has been increased on level 31 and 32 enemies in the dark zone, which means level 30s uh, will only drop 1, 2, 3 Phoenix credits. Nice to know. Uh, level 31s will drop 2 to 4, and level 32s will drop 3 to 5. Problem with this, and it's gonna make sense, which is it takes twice as long to kill a level 32 than it does to kill a level 31, uh, a level 30. So, and yes, a one to three on average. So if I got a high roll and got three, while you guys got a mediocre roll and got a four, I've already killed two level 30s and gotten six. While you, do you see what I'm saying? The kill ratio for the low levels, will, you'll always out-credit any guys. At the end of the day, if for an hour straight, you and three you and three others were farming level 32s and me and three others were farming level 30s, we would walk away with more Phoenix coins than you would because it's easier to kill level 30s than it is to kill level 32s. Plus, a lot of rogue agents like to stay at the 31 to 32 area. They leave the level 30s alone. So, yeah, there you go. Increased drop rate on high end items from level 31 and level 32 named NPCs in the dark zone. That will actually make some of us pretty happy because I am sick and bloody tired of spending two hours farming a boss and not even getting one fucking yellow. Not one. Not one. Same as bosses on hard difficulty or challenge difficulty not dropping yellows either. So that means during the challenge modes, you'll have a higher chance of getting yellows now, which is good. Increased drop rate of high-end division tech materials from level 32 named NPCs in a dark zone, great, but that doesn't mean shit because you don't use uh, high-end 
uh, uh, tech materials to craft high-end stuff. You can just use regular high-end stuff. You don't need to use the the techs unless you're purposely building it from Dark Zone schematics, which still have the same chance as giving you uh, 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 the same stats. There, there's nothing different other than they're using different co crafting comps. Uh, rank 30 chests will now drop superior purple items instead of specialized blue. Whack, whack, who the hell cares? Uh, everyone's only out there to get the gold. Uh, key chests now have a chance to drop high-end gold items. Fucking finally! Um, Dark Zone fun funds, drop rates, and quantity on NPCs has been reduced. This right here is going to be the fuckery. What I mean by that is, there's already some high-end gear that you can get that say, if killed with an explosive, gain extra credits, or if killed with a headshot, gain extra credits. I actually have that talent on a pair of one of my gloves. And basically, every time I get a headshot, I get 120 credits, whether it be Dark Zone credits or whether it be real credits, on top of what I would normally get. <coughs> Excuse me. On top of whatever I would normally get. Fix the bug where the wildfire and fear tactics talent were affecting neutral players in the dark zone. Frankly, I think this is a good thing because that can actually get you rogue status like that. Which kind of fucking sucks, pardon my French. Uh, fix an instance where players will receive a delta error message when in the dark zone. Everybody knows the delta errors is basically their fair fight anti-hack running through your system and your system apparently is just not fast enough for them. And so they dealt with you just to make sure that you're not running any hacks. Um, fix the bug where sometimes players could not loot anything after returning to the game following a network disconnection, i.e. a Delta. Uh, fix stay one's rogue timers not displaying correctly when rogue players receive damage from other players. That's pretty cool. Graphics. Fixed a few li uh, lights that did not cast global illumination. Ooh. UI. Added more information on daily missions on the map. Tutorials to have received some UI polish. Match ranking menu now displays the mission difficulty rating and rating more prominently. Mini map mission tracker has been optimized to be less confusing to players. Finally, fix the bug where some some of the attributes for high end equipment were cut off in the recalibration menu. Thank you. Fix the bug where matchmaking menu for a mission would not display correctly or kept disappearing. Fixed a fixed missing item icons in the reward claims vendor's inventory. Fixed incorrect side missions being displayed in the map legend. Audio cares about that. No. Uh, localization fixed Ubisoft Club rewards descriptions and Korean training. Yeah, yeah, look at that bug fixing. PC specific. Uh, Toby eye tracking bug fixes and improvements. Uh, launch a PC client now mon monitors PC graphic settings and applies the best settings for users configuration. This is unless the user has a custom setting. Fix an issue where map has sometimes difficult to navigate with a mouse. Fix an issue with Hur Hungarian, Korean and Russian localizations. Fix an issue preventing matchmaking while on the map. Remove the store button from the character selection screen on PC versions of the game. Players can now find the store page on Ubisoft Club app directly. Fixed increment number on day one patch notes was 1.1, now correctly states 1.01. Where the hell have they fixed the filters? Oh, something they just overlooked. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, basically what it is, is you'll go to load in your game, okay, like you're seeing right here. And what would happen when you go to craft and you find your yellow item is it would say you need X amount of this and Y amount of that. So you toggle back down, scroll all the way down to the bottom and start, you know, holding space and escape, 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 space and escape to, to you get your, your five yellow tech or the eight yellow uh, um, cloth to make your, your gear and there is no filters whatsoever you can't say only show high end only show blues only show commons only show uncommons or only show small scopes only show small barrels only show small under under attachments there's no filters there's filters for DPS rarity 
and a whole bunch of other stupid bloody things but there is no filters in the craft system there is no filters in your inventory and there's no filters on the vendors Your fuck. How hard would it be to put in a search engine? You know, just type enter, search, Russian red dot. This vendor, this safe house has a Russian red dot for this price. Oh, yeah. How hard would that be? Wouldn't be that hard. It'd save you a lot. And that's another thing. On the, map, on the map menu, please, when you highlight a safe house and it just says vendor, how about vendor weapons, vendor gears, vendor mods, not just vendor. And even then, even if it's just a generic vendor, why does he only sell just one thing? Why doesn't he just sell weapons and armor? Okay, for example, here, I'll, I'll show it to you. Ready? Let's take a look at this vendor, shall we? All it says is vendor. That's all. Vendor. One vendor. The vendor icon doesn't even change. See? The vendor icon does not even change. That's all I'm asking. Is It says vendor dash weapons. Or vendor dash mods. But that is too hard to code. Same as a decent bloody anti-hack. Because I'm sick and tired of going into the, the dark zone, watching people run around <coughs> with freaking LMGs, with no recoil and infinite ammo, and they're just ripping everyone to shreds, players and NPCs alike. Like the fact that there's already <coughs> videos on YouTube of one guy going around with hacks and completing challenge modes by himself because he has an SMG with a bajillion rounds per second like he's got a freaking nose mounted 30 mil Gatling gun and an aimbot aimed right for the head of the target crits everywhere and his weapon says every time you get a crit you heal yourself and we all know what perk that is and so the, the NPCs can't drop him because guess what all he's doing is bloody headshot crits with a bajillion rounds per second he's end up over healing so even the boss can't kill him. He kills the boss, all her bodyguards, and Christ knows what else in less than, I think it's like a minute, two minutes. I'll post a link to that YouTube video down below if you want to believe me, if you don't believe me. And this is why a lot of people don't want to make friends, <coughs> excuse me, with random people on the off chance that they're running hacks and they don't want to be guilty by association. I'm one of these people. If you are a follower of mine on Twitch or here on YouTube and you think I'm being pretentious or, 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 or ignoring you or you think I'm, I'm being some sort of dick to you or something, I'm not. It's just I keep my, my, I keep my friend circle small so the less people have to talk shit about me. You know what I mean. Well, the same is true about this game. You don't know if the person that you're grouped with is running infinite ammo. Or if he's running no recoil. You can, you can tell if he's running a rate of fire hack. Because all of a sudden his SMG's got a faster fire rate than a fucking Gatling gun. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? And... I know that Ubisoft is starting to crack down on hackers in uh, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, but Rainbow Six Siege has been out for almost coming up a year now, if not a, a little just over a year, and they're uh, now just suddenly cracking down on hackers? Don't you think that's the metaphor of too little too late? So it makes you wonder how long it's going to take for them until they crack down on hackers when it comes to uh, uh, this game. I don't hack. I have, I, I am known as a hacker in certain circles, but I'm an ethical hacker. When I do hack a game, 
I send all my research, all of the data I found, everything. I bundle it all up in a zip file without a password or anything, and I email the developers directly. The support teams directly. I, tw I tweet at them directly saying, look, there's a major loophole in this or that or the other, and I send it to them. And I'm the sort of player that wants to play a game for fun. I'm not looking to fly around the map with an aimbot, with infinite ammo, no recoil, and, and, and freaking ESP hacks, and, and all these other stupid fucking shit. Okay? Put it like this. If you're stupid enough to hack, in a, a, a even if it's a free-to-play game or not, if you're stupid enough to hack in a game at all, period, then you, myself, sir, have a fucking problem. And this is what I'm talking about. We'll go to the craft station here real quick. There's no filters. Do you see? Right here. No filters. They're all just bunched together. How hard would it be to add a little simple filter right down here? Could be the F key even. You know, because look, the F key does jack fucking shit. You know, F key, and just type in high end, and all it shows you is your high end blueprints and your high end crafting mods. You know, how fucking hard would that be? See, how fucking hard would that be? How hard would that be? It would. You know, and it would streamline everything. And before anyone even keeps asking about wanting to see what's in my stash here, this is what's in my stash. Fuck and or all. See? Nothing in my extracted. See? Yes, that AR does do 180,000 DPS, like I said. Now, you're probably thinking, why does it do 180,000 damage? It's just the, the, the corticus. And I don't even have the cool headed or the restored activated. I've just got the self preserved, which is 3% of damage heals me on a crit. And it's mostly accuracy that I've got. I don't even have uh, crit hit chance. I could put crit hit chance on that weapon, like the gear that I've got on uh, this SMG. See, brutal, accurate, and skill. skilled. Skilled uh, headshot with this kill reduces your signature skill resource by 11%. That is going to be randomized. Um, so yeah. So this one has accuracy, critical hit chance, uh, and yeah, with 23.3% critical hit chance on top of another, let's see what is it, 6.5%. So, so I've got about a 30% chance that uh, I'm going to get a critical hit on you. And when I do, it's going to hurt real bloody bad and I can even prove it. Uh, we'll go to the security wings. This is something you guys don't know. You actually, uh, once you've got your security wing maxed out, not only do you get him, but down here, you get your own little shooting range. Now you can do targeting with pistols, or you can go to this little thing right here and just go... Oh, majority. Look at all of that. No, no, no. Did, did you see all of that? No. Did, 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 you see, oh, oh, oh. did you see all of that? No. See, and you can actually just stay here all day, getting to learn the spread patterns of your weapons, damage profiles of your weapons. Here you go, this is my AR. You see? And of course, there's a restock right here, so you can just go bling. And do this all day until you find the weapon that you like or that you're comfortable with. But anyway, this has been the patch update video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you did like the video, please leave a comment down below. And uh, if you want to see some more Division content on my channel, please let me know. If you don't want to see any more Division content on my channel, please let me know. Um, again, guys, don't forget, uh, I have started a new channel called This Is War uh, uh, TV. Uh, it is a co-channel. I will be running it along with Dust David Games. Yes, DDG. Uh, he's going to have a uh, controlling hand in the channel and the content as well. It's mostly going to be a streaming channel, i.e. me and David are going to be stream live streaming on it. And we're going to be live streaming uh, War Thunder and some other games. So, until then guys, here's a 
Round of applause for you, my friends. And most importantly, don't shoot. I'm out.